Unlocking English Grammar, the Art of Passive Voice. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to demystify an important aspect of English grammar, something that often confuses learners but is incredibly useful, the passive voice. We'll break down how to form passive voice sentences, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to use the passive voice like a pro. Before we dive into how to form passive voice sentences, let's talk about what the passive voice is. In a sentence, the subject is the doer of the action, while the object is the receiver of the action. In the active voice, the subject performs the action, like in this sentence. John ate the apple. John is the subject and the doer of the action. However, in the passive voice, the subject is acted upon. The same sentence in passive voice would be, the apple was eaten by John. Here, the apple, subject, is receiving the action. Now that we have a basic understanding of what the passive voice is, let's move on to forming passive voice sentences. Creating passive voice sentences involves a specific formula. Object plus be verb plus past participle plus by plus subject. Let's break that down. 1. Object. This is what receives the action. It becomes the new subject in passive voice sentences. 2. Be verb. This is the verb to be. Am. Is. Are. Was were, be, been. That matches the tense of the original sentence. 3. Past participle. This is the third form of the verb. E.g., for eat, it's eaten. 4. By plus subject, in the passive voice, the original doer of the action can be included after, by. However, it's not always necessary. For example, if we have the sentence, she sings a song, active voice, we can make it passive as follows. 1. Object. A song. 2. Be verb. Is. Because. Sings. Is present simple. 3. Past participle. Sung. The past participle of. Sing. 4. By plus subject. By her. So, the passive voice of, she sings a song, is, a song is sung by her. Remember, we don't always need to include, by plus subject. If it's clear who the action performer is, or it's not important, we can omit it. So, a song is sung, is perfectly acceptable. It's important to remember that the passive voice can be used with different tenses. The tense is determined by the be verb. Let's quickly go over how the be verb changes with tenses. Present simple is, are, am. Past simple was, were. Future simple will be. Present continuous is, are, am being. Past continuous was, were being. Future continuous, will be being. Present perfect, has, have been. Past perfect, had been. Future perfect, will have been. So, for example, they will build the bridge, active, future simple, would become, the bridge will be built, by them, in the passive voice. And there you have it. You've learned the basics of forming passive voice sentences. We've looked at what passive voice is, the formula for creating passive sentences.